Hi guys, it's Miss La Rosa. Since we have a long weekend this week because of the holiday, I wanted to record our lesson and put it in the classroom so you don't miss it. I hope you enjoyed the extra day off and had a lot of fun and got some rest. So um, we are going to get started. Today we're gonna be talking about what it means to speak up and speak kindly. So you might have something really important to say. You might have something you really need or really want. You might just have a really great idea to share. So we're gonna learn how to do that in polite and respectful ways because that's really important to learn that skill. So that's our goal. Now, something to keep in mind, if you're wondering, should I speak up? Should I say anything? You wanna ask yourself, is there something I really need? Is there something I really want? Or do I have a great idea that I, I need to share? If so, it's probably a good reason to talk and to share something and, and to kind of use your voice because your voice is so powerful and so important. Now, it's important to speak in a polite and respectful way. For example, you don't want to yell to get someone's attention and you don't want to interrupt someone if they're in the middle of talking. You want to wait and listen to them, respond to what they're saying, and then share your idea too. So we're going to um, read a story about Z, and I don't know if you might have heard it before, but you're, you're going to hear it again today, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. This one is called Words Are Important. So here's the question that they want you to think about. Have you ever had a great idea that you wanted to tell someone? What did you do? So here we have Z and his friends. One afternoon, Mia, Kenny, and Kayla came to the treehouse and were very excited. They had a big, colorful box with something new inside. Look at this, said Mia. It's a bubble machine. It blows bubbles out of all these different tubes. Z didn't know anything about bubbles, but this sure looked exciting. Z and the kids scrambled to fill all the pieces out of the box. And look how happy they are. How do we put it together, wondered Kenny. There are no instructions. The kids and Z decided to look at the picture on the box. Then they worked together until they made the bubble machine look the same as the picture. I wonder how we turn it on, said Kayla. The kids and Z looked at the bubble machine and didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Z saw a little green button that looked like it might work. But Z didn't say anything because Z was afraid that he might have the wrong idea. The kids tried to figure out how to turn on the bubble machine. Finally, Z pointed toward the green button, but no one saw. Then Z said very softly, I think I know what to do. But no one responded. Now Z didn't want to say anything else. Z thought the kids didn't really want to listen to what Z had to say. Whoop, Z! Z forgot that we can speak up when we have things to say. What do you think Z should do next? Kayla asked Z why he was being so quiet. I might know how to turn on the bubble machine, Z answered, but I don't think anyone wants to hear my idea. Everyone has important things to say, Z, said Kayla. Sometimes we might not hear you or we might not understand what you're trying to say. That's when you can try to speak up again in a different way. But when I tried again, no one listens, said Z. Well, said Kenny, when you want to say something, you can also try to use a nice, strong voice. But what if I don't have a very good idea, Z wondered. That's okay, said Mia. Everyone's ideas are important. Sometimes they don't work, but it's still important to share. And there's Z saying, I have an idea, nice and strong. I have an idea, shouted Z. The kids laughed. Z, that voice is too strong. Try that voice again, but more softly. Speak up, but also speak kindly. So we don't want to yell, right? When we have an idea to share. Z looked at the kids, used a nice strong voice that wasn't too loud and said, I saw a green button on the bubble machine. I think that it might be how we turn it on. Kayla pushed the green button and it worked. There were bubbles everywhere. Kayla, Kenny, Mia, and Z had so much fun chasing and popping bubbles together all afternoon. Z says, whenever we're together, my friends help me discover how children on earth get along with each other. Z wants all of you to remember that when you have something to say, it's important to speak up. Okay.
So notice they did want to hear what Z had to say, and he did have a really important, helpful idea to share. Now, they didn't want to hear him yell, right? Because nobody wants to hear you when you're yelling, but you do want to use a nice, firm voice, because if you're too quiet like a mouse, then people might not hear you even though they want to. And what if Z's idea hadn't worked? If turning on that green switch hadn't made the bubbles come, would it still have been a good idea to share? Yeah, because then they learned something, right? So everyone does have important things to say, and it's okay to make mistakes because that's how we learn. So how do we speak up and speak kindly like Z was learning how to do? Well, first of all, you can stand nice and tall like a giraffe. Next, you want to look at the person or people you're talking to. And then you want to use a strong but respectful voice. So you're not going to yell, you're not going to shout, but you're not going to whisper either or be so quiet and shy that no one can hear you. You want to talk kind of like how I'm talking to you guys right now, where you can all hear me. So we don't want to be quiet as a mouse, but we don't need to be yelling like this one over here either. Kind of think of how a, a lion is nice and loud and you can all hear what they have to say. Okay, now also make sure to use kind and polite words. So say please and thank you. If something might hurt someone's feelings, you probably want to be, you know, you don't want to say something that would hurt someone's feelings, right? So make sure you're being polite and considerate of other people. So for example, if you think your painting is better than everyone else's, should you say that out loud? Mine's better than yours. Let's think about that one. I'm going to say no, right? Because no one wants to hear something like that because it could hurt their feelings. That's probably something you would want to keep to yourself, even if you feel that way. What if you hear a classmate say something mean to another student? Is it okay to say what someone sa said or does wasn't kind or fair? I'm going to give you a second to think. So if you answered yes, you would speak up, you're absolutely correct. If you see someone being rude or unkind to another person, you definitely want to speak up and tell them what they're doing isn't a good choice and isn't nice. You don't want to yell at them for it. You don't want to call them a name or do something like that back. But you want to let them know that you don't think it's okay. Okay, if you're building with blocks and your friends have the idea to build a zoo, but you aren't or sorry, you're building blocks with your friends and you have the idea to build a zoo, but you aren't sure if your friends will want to hear it. Do you think it's okay to tell them that you have an idea? If you answered yes, then you would be absolutely right. Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to say, oh guys, we are going to build a zoo, right? You don't want to tell them in that kind of situation, but you might say, hey, I have an idea. I think it'd be really fun to build a zoo and then see if they agree with you. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.